Hey YouTube. It's a beautiful sunny day. I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, just low level. Energy's a little low. We'll see what comes out. I never plan these things. I just stick this phone in my face and see what emerges. One take. Let God speak through me and say whatever needs to be said. Lesson 55 continues the review. This time reviewing lessons 21 through 25. If you want a reminder of more in detail, go back and watch the earlier videos in this series of those particular lessons. The theme for today in the review is the continuation of the idea that the responsibility lands on me. If the world is a mess, it's because I am looking out at the world and expecting to see a mess. I'm carrying these attack thoughts. It calls them inside me and I'm seeing a reflection of my own attack thoughts, my own vengeful thoughts, my own embittered and resentful thoughts. And so change occurs inside, not outside. Change occurs inside me. That's where the responsibility lies. It is pointless to blame the world of form for doing what it does if I'm not prepared to look at the, the cause, which is the way that I look at the world, the way I perceive the world, the way I perceive myself, the way I perceive my body, because it also emphasizes in the review today I don't know who I am if I look out and see a world of vengeance and attack and war and conflict that just goes to show I don't know who I am because at the source at the core I, I am divinity same as you same as all of us world is a low vibration expression of creativity. It's a bleak and shadowy form of creativity that we are all co-creating. It is not the best version of us. It is not all that is possible. But I can look out at it differently and instead of seeing attack and division and war and conflict and chaos and carnage, I can see truth and I can see beauty in every single person I see, in every single situation I encounter. I can recognize that the source that connects us all is present in every situation, in every scenario, in every setting, in every engagement, in every communication. We're all connected, we're all one. Separation is an illusion, time is an illusion, division is an illusion, this world is an illusion. One of the founders of Kabbalah, I forget his name. He said, all reality is God, but God is not all reality. All of this is God, but there is so much more 
that God is beyond this reality. And when I say God, I mean me and you and our core. We are all of it, not in these little individual separated forms, but in truth, in essence, in source, in creative power, in oneness, in non-duality, Advaita Vedanta, call it whatever you want. God is an easy word that encapsulates it all. Synonyms are peace, serenity, calmness, tranquility, joy, bounteousness, abundance, oneness. It's funny that feeling physically under the weather opens up the spirit even more. I had the privilege of sitting with people close to physical death and their spirit becomes so much more charged and more powerful. It's hard fitting into these physical containers. Our spirit is so bounteous and huge and gets squeezed into these physical containers, these fragile, comical bodies. Monkey bodies that need to eat and sleep and piss and shit. And <laughs> it's so comical being a human being. We're such odd little creatures. Odd little creatures with this vast superiority complex. But the essence of us is beautiful. The essence of us is not comical, it's divine and perfect. And doing these lessons continually connects me back to that. And I don't have to take the world so seriously. I don't have to take myself so seriously. I don't have to take circumstances so seriously. I don't have to take any of this so seriously. It's not serious. And I can access all of what I'm talking about in any moment. It's all right here. Always, always right here. I just have to get still enough to experience it. I love you all very much. Subscribe to the videos if you haven't already. the God in me to the God in you. That's what the word Namaste means. I bow to the divinity in you. I'll see you tomorrow.